So let's go back all the way to the mid 1980s. We lived in the suburbs in a close knit community, so I never had worries. 11 year old me is home alone during summer break from school. My mom and dad both work, so I was just chilling in the living room, blasting the stereo with the front door open. My cousin was dating a guy named Jeff. They're married now with kids. Me and him hit it off instantly. He was a few years older than me, but he treated me like a little brother, so we talked shit and pestered each other quite a bit. At this time, we were fairly new in the friendship, but he would call to check up on me. Phone rings. At this time, we didn't have all the fancy things like cell phones or even caller ID. We had a push button phone, which we just bought to replace the old school rosary dial phone. The conversation goes like this. Hello? Hey, what's going on? I'm thinking, oh, it's Jeff. Nothing, just hanging out around the house. Are your parents home? Jeff knew my parents' work, but... Maybe he thought they were off that day. No, they're both at work. Oh, okay. So, what are you wearing? This is odd, but this would be something Jeff would say just to fuck with me. Um, the t-shirt and shorts? Are you wearing underwear? What kinds? It dawns on me. This is not Jeff. It sounded like him. But holy fuck, it's not him. Who is this? David. David who? David Sanders. Who the fuck is David Sanders? What do you want? Just wanted to talk to you. Yeah, I have to go. Okay, I'll see you soon. End of call. At this point, my mind is racing. I have no idea what just happened. I just talked to this dude, I don't know, for like five minutes and told him my parents weren't home, what I was wearing. Wait, did he just say talk to you soon? What. The. Hell. Uh, Okay, I've heard of prank calls before. Someone was just calling a random person and screwing with them. Yeah, that's what I must have been. So, for about 20 or so minutes, I'm roaming around the house, with the door open, blasting music, trying to shake off that call. My mind keeps repeating that last line. See you soon. There's no way he could have been serious, right? So I went ahead and shut and locked the front door, just to be sure. Three minutes later, I heard knocking. I walk up to the front door, and without opening it, I ask, Who is this? He replies, It's David. No effing way. I step to the window by the door and peek out. Sure enough, there's a guy in his mid-twenties looking back at me smiling, and gives a quick wave. This cannot be happening. This cannot be happening. What do you want? Just wanted to hang out with you. My mind's blank. What do I say? What do I do? Um, my dad is home. He's in the bathroom. Okay. Bye. No way this can be that easy. Nope, I see the doorknob turn. This creep is trying to get in. Luckily it's locked. I wait a few seconds and look out the window. No one's there. I hear someone in the bushes by the front bedroom. I run in there and the guy is trying to open the window. It's locked. He tries the next one and it's locked also. Adult me would have called 911 as soon as he showed up and talked to him through the door until they showed up. But 11 year old me? I call my mom. I never heard from David again. Though when I was older. I sure thought I would have liked to, and explained to him why he shouldn't be trying to pick up young boys. Alright, so this is 100% true. I'm not claiming it's supernatural shit, but personally I can't explain it. So about a week ago my parents and little brother left to go overseas for a month, which left me at home alone. All was good, I had a few parties, 
but two days ago shit started getting weird. It was around 5pm and I was chilling at home alone, when I decided to turn most of the power off in the house, microwave, dishwasher, etc. It was now around 10pm, so I decided to go to bed. My house is two stories tall, my bedroom is downstairs and everything else is upstairs. So I fall asleep at around 11, and when I wake up and go to eat breakfast at around 8am, I look over and see the dishwasher is turned on. Strange, because I definitely turned that and the microwave off. I pass this off as an error on my part and continue the rest of my day. Now it starts to get really creepy. I have some friends over until about 11pm, just drinking etc. Then we call it a day and I went to bed when they left. I woke up at around 8am to the sound of footsteps upstairs. At first I thought it could be my older brother visiting, but then I heard my computer turn on, which I know for a fact he doesn't have the password to. Why would he do that, I thought. So I stood at the bottom of the stairs, just waiting to see if he was going to come down, because I know he knows I was home alone. Ten minutes pass, and I go upstairs, and nobody is there, the doors are locked and everything, but the computer was on. Now I was a little scared, and the knocker... I go back downstairs to get dressed, and I keep my iPhone on charge next to me on my nightstand. And when I went back down, it was about halfway across the room with a crack on it. So yeah, I don't know what's going on, but a little closure would be great. So my husband Ted is in the military. We have generally lived on base every station we have been to, because the surrounding towns can be very crime ridden and sketchy. And with my husband gone most of the time, the extra security is appreciated. I work from home due to us moving so often. So one afternoon I was taking a break. I had a bite to eat and was snuggling up on the couch with my dog. That's when I heard the sliding glass door open. It was so nonchalant I thought it was Ted. I saw my cat run from the kitchen and a shadow standing near the door entering it. I thought maybe he had come back for something. So I called out for him and was like, What are you doing home? Did you forget something? No answer. This is where I got an eerie feeling. After I asked what he was doing here, I saw the shadow move and heard the click of the sliding door lock. From there, he walked to the laundry room and shut the door. I had still received no response. So I'm sitting on the couch, scared out of my mind, and I call my husband, hoping to hear his phone in the laundry room. I don't hear a ring, but he answers. I asked him why he came home and didn't answer me, and all he says is, that wasn't me. Grab the dog and get in your car. I freak. After getting off the phone with Ted, I grab the dog and run to my car. From there, I call the military police. Waiting for them was probably the longest 20 minutes of my life. When they got there, they cleared the house and found no one. They asked me to make a statement, and even they were baffled that someone would try this on the base. We still live here. I'm so scared that he'll come back. <laughs>